Hey guys and welcome back to my City Builders channel here on YouTube. I'm Ben and today I'm luckily again healthy and playing again in my city of Springdale which is in one of those snowfall city skyline snowfall DLC areas. Um, yeah last episode I care of a couple of things like this park over here which went quickly up to a five-star park i added in some offices and mm, yeah i was talking about this issue with that highway not having an off-ramp into this kind of yeah, intersection here. Um, so maybe I will have to find a solution for that this episode. Um, but for today, I know I mentioned something about adding in public transport. Um, but currently I'm a little bit more worried about this connection over here that I might have to find a different solution for this one. Um, so this is something I want to take care of in the very beginning um, before actually adding in another highway uh, Yeah, because this needs to be connected here, definitely. Um, and before I'm taking care of public transportation, I think this is the, the first thing I want to take care of. At least for now. Um, yeah, so uh, while I'm gearing down so a few things of this um, yeah existing structure, um and there with this wintry park i was just eager to get that placed last session and i think i should just have um not have done so um and just left it um basically in stock before moving it somewhere Oh, that's something we can get rid of. Okay, want to empty that. The sledding hill, not important. I'm gonna move you. And this hospital is something I definitely want to keep, so I'm currently to be honest for moving such important buildings i'm hardly using the move it mod um i'm more likely to move it with the in-game capabilities because yeah then it's for sure aligned with everything um even though it doesn't look that nice yet but that's something i will <clears throat> take care of at a later stage for sure so i'm now planning to get this here removed i don't like this industrial area anyway so I'm getting rid of this here. Um, I'm reconnecting that in a while. I'm also getting rid of this here. So my plan actually is to have 
two more intersections, maybe even three. So one should be down here, another one should be down there. And I have to think about this part as well as a hallway going through here and maybe down there because I was thinking about leading another highway right through the forest here. Uh, this would be really nice to have that one join this highway that will come down here um, at a later stage as soon as I can buy enough new squares for my city but at least that's what I'm trying to take care of um, for the moment and for the highway build I know I remember that um, I already mentioned that I think two or three times I'm tending to use um, regular roads and yeah there's one simple reason for that um, regular roads they sometimes offer more or a different that they are behaving a little bit differently um, than highways do and yeah that's the reason why I'm using these for a highway build or why I prefer to use these for a highway build actually instead of like uh the roads oh what happened there oh you made <laughs> oh my god you made a huge bridge here mm. yeah of course it did kind of a natural here i was already wondering why this is so straight here Um, well, if you want to avoid things like that happening, it's um, easier to work in smaller, like with smaller distances, um, because then the road tends to follow the landscape a bit better I think I'm also let's say rearranging this higher part here reorganizing that as it's 12 units high the other one is 9 units high and 9 should be more than enough and I think the distance is actually a bit too wide for the purpose than I have. So I'm following that. Keeping the distance. So now we have one incoming connection here and of course this is not what I'm planning to do later but I need some kind of helping lines here like coming from here oh sorry not down under but above the same goes for this one here and now I need so you're the incoming highway So you should be connected like that. 
So this part. Yeah, I'm beautifying things anyway. So like this here and you should also be able to So like fifteen, like eighteen. like that here. So I'm curious whether that works, but hopefully it does. It's not yet beautiful, but yeah, I'll do it in a little while and fast forward things for you in the meantime. So stay tuned. Thank you.
this is slowly, slowly working out quite nicely here, I think. Um, so now the challenge will be to lead this across here. Do I need really double the... I guess this can just end up here in a um, in an intersection without following the path over there. Um, just reconnecting this for now and. I'm moving that part closer to my point of intersection. Because I again need something like a like an intersection here, but this also has to go to that part and this part is coming from over there. to cross down here. Oopsie. So oh, that was a bit too soon. I'm bringing this up to 21 meters. Up to here, down to nine again, I think somewhere over there. I'm just redesigning everything. At a later stage, I'm just trying to make sure that everything's connected properly now. And this goes, that goes, this goes, that has to connect. Fifteen. Just for now. Kind of want this to connect back to this here. This is not really nice, not yet. Because you also need some kind of intersection here. So I will build this very quickly for you in the meantime. And 
yeah, be there back for you as soon as it's finished. So please stay tuned for now. Thanks a lot. the game run for a little to see whether what I've done was completely bullshit or whether it wasn't. I know or I strongly assume that I have a couple of connections missing maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I am sure about that, to be honest, but... <laughs> oh, my. Okay, we're missing the power station. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's ridiculous for sure. Oh, oh, oh. No good. Are we back online? Come on, please. Give me the power back into my town. So having quickly reconnected the power, I think, and well, this is something that shouldn't actually happen. I don't want you guys to be here. So now I just have to clean up a couple of things that I was doing here. Um, 
So, actually, interesting, interesting changes here are happening. I'm just curious. Well, you know what? The overall problem, I think, still is and still will be. Oh, you guys have basically no connection to to anywhere in the town. Yeah, I have beautiful intersections now, but I have no on and off opportunity here. Which is kind of bad. <laughs> not only kind of, but it is definitely not good. So I'm again changing a little bit of my layout here. So just let me rearrange that very, very quickly. And I assume I should just maybe Okay, that's a bit weird. No, I don't think I need an off ramp here. But what I most likely will need. And again, daylight settings have to be changed. So what I most likely need actually is a connection to my town. Yeah. Now, since I have an intersection here, <laughs> the town is missing the connections, so no good here. Um, yeah, so how are we going to achieve that? That's going to be interesting anyway, for sure. Um, so yeah, let me take care of that. As quickly as possible. It's so nine meters high. I don't want you to be connected. So I'm just thinking about whether nine meters crossing here, going back down, fine. So now I'm, okay, let me do one thing here. Because I don't like this too much or basically not at all and going from here to there and from there to over here and add in like more commercial zones like over there so this is looking good or almost good already. And now I'm reconnecting this part, that part, and this part, and that part here. Not beautiful, but it will work, I think. 
Um, so back to the highways and the upgrade tool and yeah, this tool here and this is not good either, but I could join this way sooner actually by using my freeform tool and going back in here. So it, come on. So that's looking better now, uh, but I still have to, let's say upgrade this one okay so that road will be filling up soon and i think that we sh that i should do actually the same on the other side of the town as well. Okay, there is already an intersection. No, so maybe one intersection. That's working. Of course, there is nobody coming from. I totally get that. Okay. Um, so another idea I have, at least for the moment, let me remove those few businesses here. And let's make all of this. Actually, another park area. Mm. Because this will help me and help citizens to get across from one part of town to the next. So I'm all of, I'm defining all of this as a park, as the same park actually. So very, very roughly, I'll just change that. So this is basically one park now. Okay, and let me put in like one small main gate here. Good. And adding in one side gate 
another side gate. One side gate, another side gate, another side gate, another side gate. Here one, and over there should be another one. So now it's all about connecting these gates with one and another. And I think I should easily be able to do that as most of the highway should actually be like intersected. so that I can easily go from there down here, connect this part and probably I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing, I'm try out something here. A six, like nine meters. And I'm crossing everything over here. Down to six. And let's reconnect. No, there's no gate here. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's fine. I just didn't remember properly that there is no gate here. Um, so this is connected now. And then I'm having the thing that I need to cross the highway over there. Am I missing anything here? Am I missing something here? So like that gate's connected, that gate, that gate's connected. This is connected. That's connected. Connected. This isn't connected yet. So also making sure. Okay. 
So now, so now I'm pretty much all set with this part here. Just adding in a few amenities actually, like restrooms, restrooms, another restroom. Never can have enough restrooms in a park. Okay, there's another side gate missing. That's what I was talking about. Just adding in this path from over here to there. So what else? The info booth. Could go here. Another one. Could definitely go there. Third one. And the fourth one. one chess playing ground whatever here another one over there one gazebo another one 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 over here actually I would like to extend Tend this park area just by a little bit. And now I'm letting things run again for a quick while and see how Hamilton Hill Park is actually evolving. So huge amount of visitors. Okay, we upgraded one level. I think we'll reach the second one really, really quickly. So I'll make sure I'm already adding in here a playground. And probably over there a playground and trampoline park. Oh, this could be a good addition to my park here anyway. So now I'm just missing My heating setup actually. I totally forgot that park should be connected to the water pipes as well. So following down this route here. Crossing it here. So that's connected now and this is not yet connected. So I'm laying out something here and then this should be connected as well in a second. Perfect. Already level three. People are using this park already and crossing the highway and walking and walking and walking. So level four will be reached in a couple of seconds and I'll just have to upgrade as far as I know a little, a few more buildings actually 
to be able to reach level five very, very quickly. Let me just see. Yeah, I have enough entertainment until next level. So this is actually doing good. And I'm just waiting for level five. Yep, reached level five, awesome. So, yeah, I think I'll end this episode for now. Um, thanks a lot for joining me again in my city of Springdale. I really appreciate all your comments and likes on this video. And I'd be really happy if you could subscribe to my channel and make sure that you click that little bell icon right next to it so that you get notified as soon as I'm publishing a new video for you, uh, like a tutorial for City Skylines or a new Let's Play session or as soon as I'm, um, well, feeling well enough again, I think I'll start a new online session like um, a live let's play session in Springdale um, so yeah thanks again for joining me and I hope to see you soon bye bye have a good day mm -hmm.